here we are in the index okay so for that whenever the page load let's use one um, let's use what um, uh, state to store all the books okay so for that let's call it const book list set book list use state and it will be an empty array and also use effect okay let's create a function that will fetch the that will fetch what that will fetch our uh, list of all books okay so function so all books and now let's set now set book list okay. so here let's also print it whether to see whether we have whether we are getting all the books or not so here Okay, so let's inspect so here the total book size is coming out to be zero let's see why okay so there is no error that means the actual call is going to the backend and it is returning so okay so the problem will be I'm not calling this I get all books in the use effect okay so now it will show so response is not uh, defined so let's go here and see uh, response is not defined so let's change it okay so now it is saying that the course is not enabled so by default the cross origin is not enabled in a spring boot application so let's enable it so let's open our uh, spring boot application so this is the spring boot application let's in the controller let's allow cross origin okay cross origin and allow everyone okay so we need to stop it and rerun it so let's first see that yeah the service is up and if we make a call again okay so we we need to make a call at slash books but this one is making call at only this endpoint okay so let's add the endpoint okay so basically here we need to add slash books okay because our endpoint is slash books rather than this one so now we will be able to get the data so in console in network tab if you see the books is already there and also the response okay but why it is not showing over here that is because we need to add of it here okay and make it async so this is still throwing an exception called can't read properties of undefined reading length so that means the book list is undefined so it is undefined because we need to add a weight in the xios client so let's add a weight in all the Axios client so await 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 now we'll have 
four so now we can see we so this is state set book list now have all the books so now let's create a card so let's create a design for it so let's first create a bootstrap container so class name container and then div class name row and then let's have our book list dot map it accept it gets two parameter one is one will be book and the other will be key and return a column div class column d4 and let's have some gutter in the row and margin top as 5 and here let's have our card okay so now let's and also we can have our e equals to e so now let's create the card so this card will be a bootstrap card so in the components let's create a file called card.js and here export Export default function card and it will get all the all values as props and return our card. So let's go to the bootstrap and get the card. Okay, card is not defined. Okay, so let's go to the bootstrap and copy the card code. So this is the card let's copy the top one so this is the top one and here we have our card let's format it little bit and change class to class name and remove this the width Yes. So now we'll have some. Okay. So this card is undefined. So let's go and add this card. So now we have some cards. Okay. So now let's go and fix this. So let's pass the details first. So in the book we get book ID book dot book id book title as book dot book title book image url as book image url and then book price book price equals to book dot book price okay so now we'll get all this in our card so let's extract this from the props okay so const book id book image url book title book price props so in the alt will show book title in the source we will have our book image url in d4 
the title we have our book title and the card we can show price price as book price let's see So it is saying that book image URL, book image URL is not defined. So let's go index and book image. Yeah, book image is not defined. Okay. So as you can see now we have our four cards. Okay. So now let's change this button. So here we want one update button and one delete button. So in the card section. Let's have our fun horizontal line and a div and in the div we will have a button type button class name btn and btn primary for update and same btn but btn warning or delete let's remove this and make this as class the flex this delete button to the right side so for that let's use ms auto okay so now we have update delete okay so let's in the on clicking the update button it should go to the update section where we can update the values so for update let's go to click So this one will handle the so this one so this will have this function on update button click handler will handle the event when there is a button click on the update button and similarly for delete for delete uh, I want to make sure that user definitely want to delete so for that I want a pop-up window so for pop-up I will use a modal so let's go and pick uh, let's say pick this one okay it's like a very simple one okay so let's uh, or maybe uh, let's pick this one okay so let's copy all this and paste so let's wrap it into the fragment Let's copy this and paste this. So I don't want this one, but I definitely want this functionality on the delete button where this will act as a toggle for model and it will and it is targeted to this model okay so in the title okay so let it be like this and let's check how it works how it looks like basically so let's refresh let's go to the root and now press now clicking on the delete button we are having the model okay where we have close 
and this save button and cross and the title so in the title let's have our book title so in the title let's have our book book title and let's change all the class to class name so i don't want this model body so in the title python and or maybe in the bottle body i i can say that are you sure you want to to delete book title so it will now show as python are you sure you want to delete python now in the footer we'll have two buttons one is no and one will be yes so for the yes make it danger and the no make it primary so in the delete there is no and then yes okay 